Let's start with this CT smoke as an example on a server with 64 tick. If you do this with a jump throw script, your smoke will land here. On 128 tick, it will land here instead. The 128 tick smoke lands deeper into CT. Here's another example. I want to throw a jungle smoke from B apps. I like to do it like this, and it lands here on 128 tick. But if you do the same smoke on 64 tick, it lands here. This would obviously be a problem for people playing matchmaking since the servers are 64 tick. Sometimes the solution is simple, just aim a bit higher on 64 tick and it usually results in a good smoke. In this case yes, but not always. For example, this smoke for B site will only work on 128 tick. If you try it on 64 tick and aim a bit higher, it will only land near short and not on B site. These examples are just to show you the impact of the tick rate. Alright, let's move on. Here's why 64 and 128 tick jump throws are different. So the short answer in case the watermelon guy is listening to this video is that 128 tick servers are able to update the game much faster than 64 tick, which means the movements are more accurate. Now I'm going to explain it a bit further so that hopefully you understand the technical aspect of it. So, when you jump throw, you are doing two things, jumping and throwing. Throwing a smoke can be done by standing still, which does not affect your movement speed. But jumping does affect your movement speed. This is very important to understand. So here's a picture I made to easier explain what's going on. The blue part is a 64 tick server. The green part, 128. The 128 tick server is able to update the game twice as fast as the 64 tick server. The movement speed down here is a simple way of showing how fast the player is moving when performing a jump throw script. Now keep in mind, jump throwing in CSGO will not give you the same exact speed through the entire jump. There are some very small sudden moments of the jump where the movement speed is simply faster. Here where it's going darker is where the player's movement speed is faster. And when it's lighter, over here, the movement speed is slowing down. So the fastest movement speed you can get during a jump throw is here. But wait. This means that the only way for us to get to the fastest movement speed possible is on a 128 tick server. The fastest speed with a 64 tick server is here. Why? Well, because the server is only updating at half the speed. So when you jump throw on 64 tick, the server will not register the fastest movement speed and only look at these values right here. To summarize all this, any type of movement you make while throwing a nade could potentially give different results based on how frequently the server updates the game. And that's what we call tick rates. So that's how it works and I hope it was easy to understand. I hope you liked this new series of quick facts. That's it anyways, I'll see you guys in the next one and go bananas.